So if you aren't super active in the rat community via social media, you may not know that yesterday's news unscented, non-clumping litter has been discontinued. This has made many rat owners' lives difficult. What do we use in litter boxes now? Are there any alternatives? Anything paper-based seems to contain baking soda. Isn't that toxic? I'm going to talk about all of this in today's video. The first thing you need to know is that rats should never be on scented or clumping litter. Rats do ingest litter occasionally, not a lot, but some. And clumping in the stomach can lead to blockages which will need surgical removal or kill your beloved pet. Scented bedding is also not safe as rats have very sensitive respiratory tracts. They are most prone to respiratory illness and need two types of medication or more to get over it typically. Anything with a fragrance is simply not safe for them as this can trigger this issue. So what can you use? The good news is there is a few options. The first is this litter that is sold on Chewy. I'll put a link in the description to it. It also doesn't contain baking soda. The next is pine pellets for horse stalls. These are often sold at farm supply stores and aren't terribly expensive. As we've discussed in my best bedding for rats video, pine is totally safe to use as long as kiln dried and to be compressed into the pellets, it has to be dried. Pine controls ammonia the best too in studies. Because of how this litter breaks down, it is only suitable as litter though. So due to this, litter boxes need to be changed at least two times weekly or more often. The last litter option I have found is one I personally use, and it's this brand from Walmart. It does contain baking soda for odor control. There's a ton of misinformation on the internet about baking soda and rats, so I wanted to discuss it a little bit in a video. A few arguments tend to be made against it. Dusty, often used in rat poison, and abrasive. All of these can be debunked per this study titled, Final Report on the Safety Assessment of Sodium Sesquicarbonate, Sodium Bicarbonate, and Sodium Carbonate, which, in case you didn't know, Sodium Bicarbonate is baking soda. I'll put a link to this study in the description. But let's talk about the dust. Dust particles need to be 10 micrometers to enter the respiratory tract, per a study titled The Impact of PM 2.5 on the Human Respiratory System. This study was originally performed on mice and rats, and then that info was transferred to people. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. Baking soda particles, however, are much larger than this, and therefore not an issue for triggering respiratory illness. The next issue is the poison gas buildup that causes rats to explode. This is a common argument against its use in anything for small pets, and it's perpetuated on the internet by DIY extermination sites as well as pet groups. So let's talk about it. Pesticides using baking soda are often mixed with other chemicals, and this is because baking soda is unpleasant to eat. In the study name, acute oral toxicity, this means toxicity when eaten. Sodium bicarbonate was given to Y-Star SPF rats weighing 100 to 150 grams via a stomach tube. So note here, the rats had a tube put directly into their stomachs for this study, and the baking soda was added directly into that. The first study gave the baking soda to 10 rats, which had been fasted for 24 hours. After this, they were observed and one animal died. This may seem like a lot, but for things to be deemed toxic, you need to have half of the tested animals die within a certain time period. And this is not what happened and no other rats had a single issue with the baking soda. In the second experiment, they did the exact same thing with 10 rats from another lab strain, only this time they were observed even longer, 14 days, and the results were exactly the same. Sodium bicarbonate was not classified as a toxic substance since one half or more of the test animals did not die. So let's discuss this a little bit further. Baking soda was fed in amounts rats would never choose to eat on their own and still deemed non-toxic. Now, part of the argument is that it will build up in the stomach and will unalive the animals. This is also not based on facts or science. You see, it was once thought that rats and mice can't pass gas or fart, but they most definitely can, as any pet owner of these two creatures will tell you, including myself. <laughs> so baking soda will not cause the rats to have a gas build up and die. The last thing I see argued sometimes it is that it is dangerous to their skin. But this was also tested in the first study 
skin irritation potential of sodium bicarbonate was determined using six albino rabbits. Rabbits were used because they have very sensitive skin. The test substance was applied to both abraded and non-abraded clipped skin on the back of each animal via occlusive patches. Observations for signs of irritation were made at the end of the 24-hour contact period and 48 hours later. It was concluded that the test substance was not a primary irritant. My conclusion after doing that research is that in a litter, baking soda is safe because even if a rat chooses to eat some of the litter, the amount ingested would be so small that it can't cause any harm. Rats will choose to eat much more of their actual food and treats than litter. So to sum up the three options, I personally recommend these litters. Oco Cat from Chewy, Pine Pellets for Horse Stalls, which is available at Tractor Supply and other farm supply stores, or Vibrant Life from Walmart. But you can use any paper litter that is non-clumping and not scented, and any pine pellets that do the same. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye!